So it is snack time in Seoul. What are yeah, we doing? I'm super excited for our snack today. This is a typical Korean snack that you find often on the street. It's called dakbogi. But today we are going to have it in a specialty store. Over the years, I guess this has become so popular that not only do they sell it on the streets, now they have dedicated restaurants just for it. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Let's go check this out. All right, let's eat some dakbogi. Lead the way. has arrived and it is a fast food masterpiece. Let's have a look here at the plate. So the key ingredient here is the soft rice cakes that you see right here. So aside from that we also have some quail eggs, we have some fish cakes, and of course the red spicy gochujang sauce. Yeah the gochujang sauce is what really makes it and that is really spicy but also it's quite sweet. Yeah. Also quite sweet too. Let's try one. Ooh la la. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a very chewy rice cake. And like you mentioned, the sauce is really sweet, but also spicy. So it's like you feel it burning in the back of your <laughs> mouth, but it's really sweet in the front. And when we first and came, when we, oh, wow. Mm. Oh, and look, just arrived. This is our duigim and gun mandu, which is our pan-fried dumplings and basically our assorted battered objects. So aside from the dakboki, we also got something else, right? Yes, so take a look down here. This is the duigim that I was mentioning before. And this is these are the awesome pan-fried mandu, mm -hmm. which are called gun mandu. And they're, oh, they're some of my favorite things to eat. Before I dig into those, I'll show you some of the other things. So we have like, I believe this is the kokoma, the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also been deep fried. This is the dewey game over here. And then there's hopak, which is a pumpkin. Yeah. And also another favorite of mine. And there's a few other things. Um, some of it's uh, ojingo, which is squid. And then there's something that looks a little bit like gimbap that's been deep fried too. Yeah, so, so it's almost like tempura for people yes, who are exactly, not familiar yeah. with this. Exactly, that's a really good way of putting it. It's similar to tempura. So I will start out with the mandu. And so we have some soy sauce over here. We do. Who we're dipping. But my favorite way of doing it is to make it go for a swim in the dok bogey sauce. Oh. So just putting it right in You're there. You're making it spicy. Go for a swim, my friend. Okay. So there we go. It is ready to eat. And this is going to be tricky to bite. This is massive, <laughs> but I will try. One, <coughs> one big bite. That's so good. I really like the gun mandu, the pan fried mandu on its own. Mm -hmm. But when you put the dog boogie sauce, it's like, man, you're taking it from like an eight or a nine to a ten. <laughs> so delicious. So, so delicious. Okay, so I am going for the pumpkin. Your turn to try the duigim. Ooh. I'm going to dip it in the soy sauce because the other one is burning my mouth at the moment. It's pretty strong. So there we go. Pumpkin battered with soy sauce. How's that? That's good. You know, I like the combination, sweet and spicy, but a bit of salty with the soy sauce. You can kind of alternate between the two. It's good. Mmm. Go going in for more. It's going for another, and before that's they that, disappear. That's how you know it's good. Before Sam gets to them. Start, start having your second bite before I even stop filming. Mm-hmm. That's when I know you like it. <laughs> So my time to try the pure dog boogie. So I've got my fish cake and I'm gonna skewer that with rice cake. So How about an egg, Sam? How come you're not uh, grabbing no, an egg? I'm not a big fan of egg, so those will be yours. <laughs> wow, delicious. And guys, if you're trying rice cake, green rice cakes for the first time, be sure to chew them really well because- Oh they, yeah, they can yeah, get stuck. They can get stuck in your throat. <laughs> So. Oh, and you know what I also like? What? They give you this light broth to go along with the dakboki. And this just comes for free. Let's and I like it because it's very light and mild. 
so if you need a break from the spice, just have a sip of that. I think it's to calm down your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to slow the burn. So that was almost a really embarrassing price point because we barely had enough money. Yeah, we kind of <laughs> forgot how low we were on cash reserves. <laughs> And like we were scrounging together our last coins to pay for that. But we had enough to pay. We literally just had enough. Okay, so price point, how much was that? So that was 12,500 won. So man, each one obek won. Mm -hmm. And that's basically uh, about roughly 10 US dollars. A little, yeah. Just a little bit more than 10 US dollars. Mm -hmm. So awesome value. I mean, that was a lot of food. We ordered a double portion of the dakuki plus the gun mandu plus the gun gem. So a lot of food. Really delicious. We're both full. Our bellies are a little bit, you know, yes. feeling the burn of the spice. And most importantly, lesson learned, guys, before you go into a restaurant, check your wallet. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> we, should, we should know this by now, but you'd be surprised how often this happens. <laughs> too often. Way too often. Okay, let's go home.